Hi, what's up, y'all? It's Poppin' It's D. Boss here to this vid by Jubilee. It's titled Six Black Women Versus One Secret Asian Woman. Um, this is gonna be just as difficult as the last one that I reacted to, where they were trying to determine who the white dude was. And they failed in that video because anybody can have a black scent. How you speak is entirely dependent on uh, the environment that you grow up in. So if you have a person of a different race who grows up around a whole bunch of black people, they're going to talk black or have a black scent. So this is impossible to determine. I went to school with so many people of different races who have such a heavy black scent. So, and they have blindfolds on. They're not going to be able to tell if if she grew up around a lot of black people. But anyway, let's watch. I am black. I am black. I am black. I am black. I'm black. I am black. I'm Asian. How many inches everybody have in their hair right now? Girl, I'll make new. It's 24 inches. Bam. <laughs> Thank you for asking. I have uh, 22, uh, 18, and 16 inches of oh. in my hair still right now. I'm big So you're just assuming that everybody got extensions, girl? Look at her. Blondie. She... That's such an ignorant question. I have not. I have a natural hair today. I have a fade. I'm natural, so I'm waiting for braid season. Oh, 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 wait, I'm, I'm ready for the end. I, I shaved my hair, so I have like a blonde glow. Oh, okay. You know, let's yeah. yeah. go with the Tiffany hair. She's right now. <laughs> she said Tiffany hair. That's right. I don't have a wig on, or I don't have any type of weave, so that's gonna make me feel a little suspicious from the start. What y'all moisturize with this morning? Oh, are you talking about like, skin or hair? Oh, I, you went to skin? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, shea butter, yeah, shea butter. Yeah, shea butter. Definitely shea butter. I'm, just I'm real dry, dry so I had to use real thick lotion. <laughs> lotion? I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. I use that shea, like that thick stuff. Once you get out the shower, you put the shea butter, a little oil. Who just said shea butter at the end? Well, I said shea butter with the oil. Oh, when you get off the shower. No, listen, I don't play that. We cannot be ashy. Okay. How you, how you make your, how you make collard greens? Ham hocks. Girl, what you need smoked meat. Smoke turkey tail. Smoke turkey tail. I have never cooked collard greens a day in my life. I don't like her. <laughs> it was very intimidating, too, I will say, because they came with the heavy questions, like, right off the bat. They were ready. <laughs> I'm Caribbean, so we don't really eat collard greens. I'm from Haiti, so we don't eat that. So. I don't really cook. And me saying I don't like her, obviously, I don't know this bitch. <laughs> well, I'm just, anyway. Uh, but her questions are, are not specific to, like, there are so many black people that will fall outside of, of the questions that she's asking. So it's like, what? I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Okay. Well, turkey oh, here on the Trader Joe's. Right, I'm sorry. <laughs> How long I took y'all greens for? Until the Lord says stop. Yes. <laughs> what show said people watch growing up? Uh, How far you want to go back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Like she was here. I was like, like she is here. Yeah. 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 Oh, okay, I'm going way back. Yeah. 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 Friends want to go oh, there. Yeah. 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 A new world. Girlfriends in my my time, kind of. Yeah. It's uh, what's her name? Different world. There we go. Thank you. Yeah. I saw them do this in the guys like one, but like finish this. Yeah. <laughs> we're brothers. We're happy and we're single, single and we're colored. Okay. <laughs> Give me a yeah. High five. All right. Good. Okay. Cool. I just want to make sure. Where's everybody from? I'm from North Carolina. I'm from the far east side of Indy. Indy. Um, Indiana. Yeah. Uh, okay. And specifically, uh, if it's Indiana, then you got Indianapolis. I'm in the heart of the city. Uh, yeah. Okay. okay. I'm from Jackson, Mississippi. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh my. <laughs> Born in Riverside, California. My mom and dad separated, so he lived in Chicago, Gary, Indiana. So I was kind of like both. Hey, Gary, from the G. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Gary, Indiana. So we know. Yeah. Yeah, I'm from Eugene, Oregon, and then I moved out here like two years ago. I lived between Detroit and Battle Creek, Michigan. Okay. okay. I'm from Jersey, 20 minutes out of the city. Who's from Oregon? A cast. Me. Can I hear a customer service voice? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hi, how are you doing today? Oh my gosh, like, like, I don't know, I don't have a customer service voice like that. You have a customer service voice. How many black people from Oregon? 2%? Yeah, that's, that's what made me suspicious. And also, what was it about Cadets? Her code switch. So I was like, okay, let me see if Cadets just has one of those voices or if this is a white woman. Does anyone else here have like African family members or immigrant family members? My family, they're immigrants. Slave slave. Yes, I was a, I'm a slave black person. My dad, he is an Ethiopian refugee and moved here when he was a teenager. So yeah, I was raised in that culture. And then my mom is white, so I'm biracial. 
Okay. Uh, what school did everybody go to? For what age? Like college. Oh, I went to a PWI. I also went to, I went to Michigan State. Yeah, I also went to a PWI. Yeah, PWI. I went to Jackson State. Oh, okay. I went to Indiana University. Are you an IUP? No, I'm not IUP. Wow, girl, that's oh. IU. That's I. Not for you. Oh, no, do for you, girl. Okay. Uh-huh. Let me just know. You try. I try. I try. What's everybody's um, favorite like icon growing up? Girl, I'm gonna say mine was like Shaka Khan. Ooh, oh, I love me some Shaka Khan. I think her comes on lots. Okay, her too. Mm-hmm. I didn't really look up to celebrities growing up. I, I'm honestly, it sounds cliche, but my mom, because she was a widow and she raised me and my sister by herself, so. I look up to her still. Yeah, that's beautiful. Mine's yeah. probably Shirley Chisholm, the politician. How old are these people? Damn yeah, cool. I directed this episode. No cool. Cool. Mm-hmm. relationship with blackness changed like over the course of your life i mean i'm me i love me like it's just it's getting better better and better every day i love being black i would not choose it any other way i grew up with a family that was really proud to be black but i grew up in a really white neighborhood a really white area so i didn't see people who looked like me and that was really difficult uh to deal with because people just made me feel bad for being like a dark-skinned black woman especially It wasn't until I went to college and met other black people um, that I really got a chance to be proud of my blackness and get involved with the community. And I just love myself more and more every day, honestly. That's right. (laughs) She started talking about her experience as a dark-skinned woman. And I was like, for somebody not black to be coming in here specifically being like, oh, I'm a dark-skinned woman. I'm like, ah, that would be sick. So I was like, EJ was telling the truth. I was gonna say, yeah, just growing up, I'm mad her shirt doesn't say too much so like with S E. Well, I don't know if she's Korean, sorry. But if she is Korean, that would have been a better shirt. But then just being kind of uncomfortable in my skin, but then like being able to go, like I went to predominantly white school sometimes and mix, but then when I went to Jackson State, just being able to be proud of like who I am and accept who I am more. But now kind of the way things are with the time, it's just I think more people are open to learning more and understanding and, and being more accepting. So um, it's, it's just good to have those kind of conversations to bring more awareness. Uh-huh. All right. I think <laughs> <we're> <laughs> <laughs> she didn't say anything about her blackness. Like exactly. finding her black. <laughs> they picked up on that from the last video with the men. The white guy in that video was super general, too, when they asked a specific question like this. But the guys didn't pick up on it. The women are just like, ah, you ain't saying nothing specific. This is too, this is too general. Is a, a politically correct answer? We don't trust it. So that they about to probably get her up out of there. She was just like, I found myself. So I found that to be a little suspicious. Yeah. <laughs> Got her right out of there. I just kind of kept it general to my experiences mm-hmm. with black culture and how I grew up, but they were coming straight with the. Damn, I, I think the first round was supposed to be very light. It was not. Oh, I don't know. I, don't, I feel like I don't know. I really believe y'all. Girl, what's your name? Oregon. Cadets. Cadets. Yeah. You adopted. No, I'm not. She, she said she had black yeah. and white. She yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. And I don't believe it. She Thank said, you. my name is literally. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 She said. <laughs> I feel like the fact that my name Maybe is Kness was kind of carrying it a little bit. I don't know any white people who would have an Ethiopian name. I just want to hear everybody's customer oh, service voice. I'm just trying to hear the switch. Oh, okay. Hi, how are you? Hey. 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 Good you afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Thank you for calling oh, Quick and Loans. Oh. Quick Hi, my name is EJ. How can oh, I help you today? Yeah. 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 That was very yeah. sorry Can y'all tell me if mine is good? <laughs> Do it. Okay, got ready, got ready. Okay. <clears throat> okay, wait, wait, wait. Too much pressure. Okay, wait. Okay. Hi, my name is Adrienne. How y'all doing today? Is it good? I'm gonna be like, hey, girl, what's good? <laughs> <laughs> one more time, one more time, one more time. Hi, thanks for calling. Better? 
That was good. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Whatever you're selling, I'm buying. Thank so. you. This makes me sad. What is your favorite thing about being a black I'll woman? About that. Uh-huh. All of it. Um, I love the fact that I know I won't crack. Um, <laughs> shit, I always just mirror stuff. myself. You know, I'm fine as hell. Yeah, I love yeah. the way I sound. I love the music. I love the culture. I love, yeah. I love it. Like, I can change up my hair if I want to throw. If I want some straight hair, I want braids. I don't crack the show. Like, we, we, it, we're lit. What's popular in fashion right now and beauty trends are very much because of us because yes. of black women and yeah, we yeah. 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 yeah i can answer my own question though i feel like <laughs> just like malcolm x said we are the most disrespected people in this country and we are black and we are women we have two things against us and we just have to wake up every day resilient as f- and then, I, are we gonna say sorry? Oh no, it's okay. I, I just wanted to like on the side of that question. What's something that you guys find is like a struggle you face every day as being a black woman? I mean, I hate it because social media is the way that it is. Yeah. But it's like you get on Twitter and you can't go on there without a man degrading like black women. Like just yeah. for like, you're on, like Twitter just, like, why are you on here preaching so much hate? Like your mother is a black woman. Why are you talking Isn't that so the craziest thing? On Shanti, us? What I have to deal with being a black woman, especially in corporate America. Ooh, uh, that's what I was getting to. Yeah, <laughs> it's very hard because we are supposed to be seen as strong. We're supposed to be seen as like I remember my last job. They were like, well, can this you know she's gonna tell it how it is she's gonna do this she's gonna do that i'm like candace is like i'm a black woman but you know i can be soft too like i don't have to be so direct yeah i'll like want to speak up about something but then i also don't want people to like think of me in a certain way like it's like a stereotype so then i'll like silence myself and it's just like a perpetuating like cycle yeah what's your mama's name connie well yeah connie connie yeah literally Mm -hmm. It was Constance, but they changed it to Connie. Right. If it helps, my big mama's name is Mosey. Oh, she said Mose. big mama? Yeah, my big mama, Mosey Lee. Oh, my God, my name Margaret. Speaking of big mama, yes. who played big mama? Girl, the big mama. Oh, stop, right? No more. Yeah. All right, I just, I just want to make sure. I, there's questions. They're about to get, uh... So once again, there was not a majority, but there was only a two-way tie this time. EJ and yeah, Cadets. Yeah, girl up in here. <laughs> you know what, <laughs> Okay, either one of y'all. When you were getting your hair pressed, what precautions did you have to take? Like, what were you told to do? Hold my ear. Yeah. Wait, is that my turn to answer? Mm-hmm. Oh, sorry. Okay, my mom, she's white, so honestly, my hair journey, kind of questionable. Um, <laughs> but um, when I would straighten my hair, it would literally just be like a heat protectant spray, but I honestly, like, never straighten my hair. Like, I always wear it curly or, like, in braids. See, I yeah. grew up with, like, a perm from a young age, washing it in the sink, and my job was to hold my ear, and when my mom would pull my head back, I need to stop moving because it was my fault. So EJ's voice um, isn't like stereotypically like probably what you would think of when you think of a black woman. Something that could be kind of a red flag, but in this game, you never know. What type of hair do y'all have? 4C and 4A, uh, 3B. How many times do you wash your hair? How many times do you wash your hair, period? A week. Every two weeks. Three times. Three times. Well, yeah. she probably has different hair. Yeah, I've three Yeah, they're not keeping into consideration. This girl has said she's biracial 50 million times. <laughs> she's gonna have a different experience. Got a scalp on. Well, I don't use shampoo every time. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mostly I just keep it in braids. What kind of braids? I do flat twist or I'm gonna do, I can't cornrow, so I do uh, French braids. My mom never taught me. She can't do hair, sadly. Bless her. I don't wanna go for either. Okay. You know, I swear I'm black. <laughs> <laughs> Had a point where she was like, no, I promise you, I am black. And I was like, that's exactly what a white woman would say. <laughs> uh, <laughs> they think her voice We actually just went to Popeye's, and I ordered food, and the girl pulled down the thing. She was like, I'm not going to lie. I, uh, I thought you were a white person. I was like, that's okay. When people hear me, they kind of cast me kind of to the side of thinking, like, maybe she's, like, an Oreo or something like that, which is not the case. If you think yeah, that's really still in the box, like you want to continue playing, raise your hand on three. And why the fuck would you say that, Popeye's bitch? Like, that was, you could have kept that to yourself. Give her her goddamn chicken and keep it pushing. Oh, I thought she was white, girl. <sighs> One, two, three. Oh, my box turns green. You guys have successfully voted the mold out. If the box turns red, that means you guys have lost the mold one. I'm scared. And the box turned green. Okay. Everyone can take their blindfolds off. I'm gonna count to three, not yet, okay? Okay. Two, three. Oh, baby. <laughs> you know what? I was right. I was right. Yeah, my white house. Turkey. I was like, yeah. yeah. Here, so, I here. so I was adopted. I was born in Korea. I was adopted by a black family in Korea. Oh, yeah. So I grew up in Jackson, Mississippi. I went to Jackson State. So I'm heavily influenced by black culture. 
Uh, but I know it was a little hard because I don't like to misrepresent myself either. Like I picked up on it. Yeah, there were some things where I was like, yeah, I'm not gonna speak in first person. Like me as a black woman, because yes. you ain't black, but you got nice ass teeth. <laughs> Yeah, I would have been in here when you said, what's your mom's name? My mom's name is Ernestine. I would have probably won. Ernestine. Yeah, you should have said that. Ernestine. Oh, my God. Damn, y'all fine. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, y'all. We got it. We're going to take first. Damn. Okay. Somebody said that they were going to vote me out earlier. Because they're like, I don't know. You just seem too black. I was like, thank you. Too black? I have a phone. I came here to win. And that's exactly what I Well, I like that Apple Watch. thank you. Too black? I seen that on Amazon, but I thought it was oh, happy yeah, on Amazon. Like, I don't know, you just seem too black. I was like, thank you. But it looks Ooh, cute on her. Too- All right, I'm gonna get it. I'm black? Gonna get it. I had a lot of fun. I came here to win, and that's exactly what I did. I was like, wow, I could hang out with Michelle. Like, I'm sure we have so many common growing up experiences. Even though I, my family's black and a lot of my friends are black, I don't know what it's like to walk in a black woman's shoes. Everybody's not monolithic, so it was interesting yeah, this gotta hearing be. everybody's responses and how they were different. I was one of the few women of color in my high school and in my city. Like in the past, I felt like a bit of an outsider because of that. But now I've been able to just embrace the fact that like basically there are just many different ways of being black, yeah. Um, I mean, sure, they, they won. They got the Asian girl all right away, so kudos to them. It was just a bit eye rolling at times because it's like, this does not apply to all black people, but obviously they can only go based on like, generalizations they have to uh use stereotypes to a certain degree but it's just like girl <laughs> how many inches you got in your head it's like girl Jesus Christ. <laughs> but uh yeah they, they did a good job y'all let me know what y'all think let me know what other videos you want to watch and i'll see you on the next time Bye.